you think these two ended up choosing? They were keen and conscientious pupils. All of very well behaved in class. Both of them are quiet, deep <laughs> thinkers. Very creative. They needed to express their art form. I'm in Limerick to bring those two <laughs> back here to school. Kick our Limerick legend Stephen Keith, who've been described as supercharged, ear shattering, and full of infectious energy. They've released three massive albums, performed at some of the most famous venues in Ireland and Europe, and taken the stage at festivals like Oxygen and the Electric Picnic. These two are quite simply rock. But before all of that, the two lads went to school here together in Art School Reach, and they should be on their way right about now. When Keith and Steve were younger, they travelled to school separately, but today, Steve's collecting Keith from his house so they can return to school together. Alright, ready? Oh yeah, okay. What's What's up? Up? And while I'm waiting for them to arrive, the Art School Reach boys give me their own special sort of welcome. <laughs> I can't wait to see. I can't wait to see all the old teachers. I'm also looking forward to see if a uh, calculator left there in 1997 is still in the chemistry lab. Yeah, that's on the desk. Of course, still there. Sorry, man, can I talk to you for a second? Yeah, all right. What time is the assembly out here? It's uh, 10 to 9. 10 to 9. I'm kind of waiting on a couple of guys. Would you mind hanging around with me and showing me where it is in a minute? Oh, yeah, no bye. All right, Sam. For a main reason, we'd like to come back. We'd like to come back anyways. Out of curiosity to see how much things have changed. Even more so, and not how it's changed, but how it's the same. Yeah, the monster, don't go out of Hey. Alright lads, how's it going, Keith? Yeah. I'm Rob. Hey Rob. Steve. Hey Rob, how are you doing? Not too bad, this is Podrick. Hey Podrick. Hey Podrick, how's it going? So the lads, he's going to show us where assembly is, so are you up for this? Yeah, I'm sure. Really looking forward to it. Podrick, lead the way, man. Go ahead. Let's go back to school. That's it. Lads, I'll be in a minute. I'll just... What the lads don't know is I'm going to give them a big introduction for all these students in assembly. But I get the idea they're trying to keep a low profile. Morning, everybody. Morning. This morning we have a very distinguished guest, and I'd like you to give him a very warm Art Skull Reach welcome to Mr. Rob Ross from the Den. How's it going, everyone? Okay, we're joined by two very special guests, ex pupils from Art Skull Reach here this morning. They're from a very famous band from this school. It's Stephen Keith from Give a Man a Cake. Get on up here, lads. Uh, how's it going? Uh, it's great to be back. We haven't been here in ages, so uh, we're looking forward to meeting you up. Thanks very much. Thanks for having us. Everybody, give a man a cake. Give up, lads. that they still care about the school and stuff. Yeah, I've heard some of their songs before and they're really good. Past pupil that they went away in credit band and they did well for themselves like so it was good to see them again. Yeah. The first couple of years of school I was really enjoying it because you're making new friends from all over the city. When you come to a bigger school like this, that was really cool. Kit was a, a serious um, committed student. I really liked school. Um, I don't think it was a matter. Well, my friends, yeah, but uh, not in front of teachers' faces. Stealth, a stealth matter. <laughs> Stephen wasn't uh, bohemian, but he, he would not have been in the same straight laced league, if I can say so, as Keith. Keith and Steve are very interesting lads, uh, very creative, full of questions. So, when did you come to school here, anyway? How long was it? Uh, I think it's been about 12 years in my case. I left in 1997. I was about four years ahead of you, wasn't it? That's right, yeah, it was 2001, I didn't believe it. Yeah, so if you were four years apart, I mean, did you know each other in school or how did you form them at? I suppose we kind of formed after school, really. Um, when we both finished, just through playing in bands in the city. 
Um, I was in one band and Steve was in another. Well, I was crossing paths. I was crossing paths. Well, I would have been a big fan of Steven's band uh, all the way up through school. <laughs> they were older than us and better than us. Uh, so everyone kind of looked up to them. But... So you're not just Keith and Steve as well. You're Steve and Man a Kick and Give a Man a Keith. It's a thing Steve and Man a Kick and Give a Man a Keith are all three going into the lads came up with for themselves. But how? From talking nonsense an awful lot on our long drives around the country in our van. And giggling at things and uh, putting putting words in the name Give Him and a Kick. Can I have some sort of a, like, Rob, you're a deadly name like that as well? Oh, um, it's tough because we spent years making them up. Um, Rob, Rob, Give Him and a Rob. Rob, Rob, uh, I was thinking Rob a Kick a Man. Is That's that, is that good, good actually, or bad? Oh, Stephen. <laughs> Sorry, sir. How many times have I told you? Sorry. Get to class. Sorry. Sorry, sir. And first on the timetable, unfortunately, is the lad's worst subject, German. Okay, yes, I have some Fragen um, of the Tafel. It was der, die, das. Was ist the next agenda? Die, die. Sehr gut. Number two, ich bin, du bist. Er, er ist. Excellent. Uh, Frage 4. Where did Give a Man a Kick get their name, Kid? Rob Brown, uh, Give a Man a Kick got their name when Stephen uh, was attending the Reading Festival in uh, England and there was a stall there called uh, Give a Man a Fish that was selling fish. So we decided it would be a really good idea to call our band to Give a Man a Kick. Frage number 5. Why do you sometimes wear a gas mask on stage, Steve? I think it's because I think it looks uh, it looks good, maybe. Well, maybe not good, but it makes people look at me. Anyway, <laughs> um, I think it, it looks it looks good, maybe. And uh, I put some telephone microphones into it, so it sounds like I'm shouting down the telephone, which I think sounds good. We play an awful lot of live shows, so um, we try and keep them as interesting for people who come to see them regularly. And for us, we play them regularly, obviously. And as well as gas masks, give a man a kick's performances are stacked full of strange goings on. Fire breeders, dancers in masks, and ear clapping. Now, hört mir zu. What do you think is give a man a kick called in German? What do you think? Gib einen Mann einen Schuss. All together. Give a man a kick and give a man a Keith were both into music from a very early age. My parents bought me a guitar, which I couldn't master at the age of six, I think that was. So when I came to secondary school, uh, my uncle he gave me a present of an electric guitar. Uh, it was a really kind of small, really small electric guitar and a teeny little amplifier. And it was possibly the best present I've ever got in my life. Yeah, it was uh, very similar to guitar was the start for me. When I was in first year, I'd been pushing and pushing and like, give me a guitar, I really love guitar. And then it was 15 or 16 when I started getting into playing drums. I was looking at budding performers at a very young age with a very strong sense of creativity and musicianship to them. I, was, I remember getting into teaching as well near the end as well because uh, there was a couple of my mates that were all trying to learn guitar and bass and stuff at the same time and I, it, just so, so long as you're one lesson ahead of everyone else you could always teach it to something else <laughs> so I used to be doing that and like, making three quid an hour <laughs> and the lads used to sneak into empty classrooms at break time and lunch to play so that's exactly what they do today Uh, I'm, I'm not going to be home until uh, half six or something instead of half four. 
uh, today. So you just wouldn't go to supervised study and sit in a classroom and just play guitars or something.